this is Zach back with another Python video. Uh, today, this is, um, well, sort of a request. I made a video asking if you guys would want a tutorial for how to make the uh, Python encryption decryption uh, application that I made. And uh, I kind of showcased that on my channel. Well, now I am actually going to show you the tutorial, or it may end up being a two part tutorial. Um, but this uh this is going to show you how to make that so here in a second i'm going to show you the uh the file if you have not seen it for my um for the actual application that i made if you haven't seen it then i'll show it to you uh, really quick let's see it was uh yeah so this was it and um, if I already ported this to Mac so it actually works on the Mac so this is it you you just really simple I wanted it to be a personal kind of uh, your own secret program if you wanted to make like a thing to encrypt and decrypt text files so what you do is you have a text file and you put all your secret information in it and you click load text file you find it and then you hit encrypt file so I just received an error because I didn't select the file you can use a try statement if you'd like to uh, get rid of that error but uh, anyway and then you would do the vice versa load text file and then decrypt file to uh, to make it work so I'm going to show you guys how to write this program now first of all we're going to need a few things I'm just going to copy that and paste so these are all of your import statements. We're going to need the random um, from the crypto module. Now crypto is a third party module, it doesn't come with Python. So you're going to need to install that. If you have pip or easy install, you can uh, go to your terminal or command prompt and um, put in like pip install um, crypt or pi crypto. It's not actually called crypto, it's called pi crypto. But uh, you can you can look up how to install that if you'd like. Then we need the AES from uh, crypto.cipher. This is what we're encrypting in. AES is the Advanced Encryption Standard, which is uh, what's used on pretty much every uh, standard encryption nowadays. Uh, then the application itself, we're going to need the message box, file dialog, uh, dialog and tkinter itself. So... Um, so yeah let's get started so first of all as you can see I have a key now you can look up how to uh, generate these keys uh, they do have to be a specific length in size and um, and stuff so you want a key like this I, I personally didn't feel the need to write a function that generates a key so I'm just going to use this key that I already have so I don't have to worry about it it should be pretty easy to look up a key online though to find for this now the uh, alright so the process we have here is we're gonna have a we need two functions to encrypt and to decrypt but we can't just take the text and encrypt it or decrypt it the text has to be a specific uh, length or size block size so it kinda makes it a little bit troublesome but we have this pad function here and uh, what this is going to do is this uh, pretty much adds random or not really random but it adds this character or adds the amount of them that you need to make your string the correct uh, block size so this function takes a, a parameter s now it's going to return so uh, it's going to return that string plus this part now what this says is um, this binary uh, backslash zero here this is just a character so it's so it's saying how many of those characters though that's where the multiply operator comes in so if it were to say uh, so if it were like x times 5 that's the same thing as x x x x x that's 5 x's 
So, uh, so that's what that is. So, and then the amount of that character that we need to make it the correct length is the AES box size. So if you see, we imported that module. This is a, uh, this is from that module. So the box size minus the length of our given string modulus that box size. So pretty much this is going to give us the uh, length or the amount of characters that we need to make it the correct box size. So it's going to multiply that number by this character and add it to the end of the string so that our string is the correct box size. Okay, now we're actually going to write the encrypt function. And uh, we're going to, as you can see, this is the encrypt function. We're going to have a message or a string that we're going to encrypt. The key to encrypt it, this is symmetrical encryption, so we only use one key. And the key size, which is 256. 256 is uh, usually better than uh, 128. So we're going to say message, key, then key size, and notice we're making this a default parameter, so you can uh, change it. But, uh, there we go. Okay, now we're going to use our pad function we just created, and we're going to redo the message. We're going to say message equals pad message. So now this message variable it has the correct uh, box size and is able to be encrypted. So we're going to say IV. Now what IV is, this is initialization vector and it pretty much is used in encryption to uh, to see to prevent repetition and um, basically if a hacker is using a dictionary to attack and try to break in then you can use this IV and this will prevent repetition and they won't be able to see um, you know patterns in your in your encryption and it, it makes it a little bit harder to to hack or to decipher so what this is though I'm going to go ahead and select this and then explain it is a random.new so we have a random module random.new and this this is a function of course that's inside random that gets a, a new random number then it reads the uh, the block size of AES there and it pretty much just gives you this this random thing here I'll just I'll do this encrypt um, stuff and key that way yeah I have to put something in there alright decode error output not UTF-8 so you're going to get that because we can't just print it out uh, we can't I can change the encoding to show you but all right okay okay that's uh that's all right you can you can look up the IV thing it's a little bit confusing with AES encryption but just think of it as a bit of random information that it adds to your uh, encryption there so that it cannot be uh, decrypted or hacked very easily now we're going to actually say ink equals uh, well well, we're not gonna. All right, I called it cipher. I'll leave it at that. All right. So, cipher equals as dot new key, and then the mode we're encrypting it with, and the IV to attach on the end. So. All right. Now, this is a method in the AES module that. Uh, pretty much just actually encrypts it, but um, I mean, I mean, oh no, AES, this is a function in the AES module that creates an object that we're going to be able to encrypt or decrypt with. So, as you'll see in the next line is the actual return, and we return IV plus that uh, encrypted message there. So, Cypher is not actually the encryption 
Our cipher is your object that does the encryption or decryption. So now we're going to return IV plus uh, our cipher dot encrypt message. So you can see the cipher object has the function encrypt. All right. So now if we say uh, E equals encrypt secret key and then print E. Oh, uh, our UTF thing. We'll get to the uh, encryption. We'll fix that later because we're going to have to when we start putting it into files. But it's store. It, it's a. It deals with the encoding in binary. So as you can see later, we're going to be reading files as binary. But I will get to that in a minute. So the decrypt uh, function here is pretty much the same, except it's it's a little bit opposite. So we have to kind of take parts out of the uh, encrypted text, such as the IV here. So we're going to go ahead and create that. Decrypt message and key. We do not need the key size to decrypt it. So IV equals, uh, you can see right here, or I use ciphertext, so I'll use that. So I use the IV equals and I did a little bit of slicing here. So we take the A as block size and we get everything uh, after that much. So this is going to get the ending or I mean the uh, beginning piece of our ciphertext which when we encrypted it we put the IV at the beginning so what this is actually doing is it's getting the IV from the uh, encrypted text so we'll say ciphertext open square bracket uh, colon AES dot block size so that gets our IV. Now the next line is cipher equals A is new. This is the same deal as before. It creates a, a cipher object which can encrypt or decrypt. Okay. Now we're actually going to do the plain text part here that decrypts that, but that's not the last step as you will see in a second. Our uh, after this, if you will remember, we when we did our padding we added some of these characters so what we have to do after this um, is depad that pretty much but what this is saying is the plain text is um, a string which is the cipher it's decrypting the cipher text um, from the index size and on so this is getting the rest of the uh, the cipher text because as you'll see right here we took the IV part of it but we didn't actually change the cipher text so it still has the IV inside it which is why we have to use this little bit of slicing so now we'll say return um, our D padding pretty much plain text our strip so this is saying return plain text without this pretty much that's what the uh, rstrip function does. And if you'd like to look up the rstrip a little bit more and learn about it, it's uh, it's in the Python documentation, and you can also look it up online. Now this is our, uh, let's see, I, I'll just show you an example. So message equals secret, and uh, let's see, ink equals encrypt message key deck equals decrypt ink key then we can print deck and it prints out secret now we can't say print ink because it's going to give us that uh, encoding error again see decode error output not UTF-8 so uh, what we can do is uh, we can just see that it, it did this so we know that the dot ink is changing it and once we 
read it as binary and put it in files later um, you'll actually be able to see the encryption just because uh, in Sublime it has to be in that encoding so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next part